Are you suffering from stiffness on your hips with sharp pain due to femoral acetabular impingement syndrome? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. I'll be discussing about F. AI or femoral acetabular impingement, the anatomy, the symptoms, prevention, and simple exercises you can do for absolute beginners to slowly increase the inflammation, improve the mobility of your hip safely and effectively utilizing yoga, pilates, and physical therapy. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, let's discuss a little bit about femora as a tabular impingement. So it's about our hip joint that becomes impinged due to bone spurs and because of the bone spur that accumulated, it's possible from an injury or wear and tear or genetics. Sometimes it's also because of osteoarthritis through the years of wear and tear and bone spurs accumulates. And there's three types of FAI, pincer, the cam, and the combined. So the pincer is a type of FAI due to the extra bone on the rim of the acetabulum. The second type is the cam where the head of the acetabulum is not smooth and it causes some grinding on the hip joint. And the last one is it's combined a pincer and a cam joined together so it's really worse. So with this because our Hip joint is a ball and socket joint, should be able to move in different directions, forward, backwards, sideways, rotation. And if you have this, it causes a lot of pain, tightness, and stiffness. So we're going to discuss about how to avoid worsening of this condition. You have to avoid certain exercises such as high jumps, squats, knee high, marching that's over past 90, plyometrics, deadlifts. So those are exercises that will cause more impingement and friction inside your hip joint. So I'll be showing you gentle, effective pilates and yoga movements that will help release the tension on your femoral acetabular joint or the hip joint. And this impingement feels like a sh frozen shoulder on your hip. So let's start now. I'm going to lie down on your back. Okay, my friends, let's start with the exercises. It's best to lie down on your back to start warming up our hip. Place some heating pad for at least 20 minutes to help warm up the tissues. So we're going to start opening your hip slowly, lowering it to the side with your knees bent to 90. You take a deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, go up. You alternate left and right, even the good side. This will help relearn for mirroring effect so it's like a mirror mind body connection so even though you're tight on this side and you can't lower all the way down and you stop because the impeachment stop before pain slowly increase the flexibility and mobility of your hip after doing that 10 times alternating now you can do butterfly stretch gently open you inhale, squeeze your core in, exhale, blow through your mouth, inhale, open, exhale as you slowly go up. Gently, after 10 times, the next progression, you're going to slowly lift to 90, bend your knee to 90 only, 90, not too close to your chest, that could cause impingement. Just enough to 90 just to get the range. And if you can't go to 90, you're only 45, that's fine. Slowly build it up. Increase the strength of your hip flexor muscles. So alternating left and right. So you inhale up, exhale down. After 10 times doing that, We'll external rotate figure of four, place your ankle on the top of your thigh, slowly press your knee out and gently stretch. You inhale and exhale. Now switch it up to the other side. Slowly press it out, inhale, exhale. Do that 10 times as well for 10 deep breaths. Gently open your feet out external rotate your toes pointing out of the mat and this time we're going to do bridging with your toes external rotated if this is too difficult to external rotate 
it's okay to place your toes pointing straight down but this is the gentle progression it helps open your impingement as you squeeze your glutes up don't hyper extend your spine and hold that for five seconds hold as you exhale slowly go down one vertebrae at a time and you'll do that 10 times inhale up exhale down so that's my recommendation slowly go up and do that 10 times now my friends place your arms to your side in a w position elbows bent palms up and gently lower one knee to one side so i'm lowering my right knee towards inward and the other knee outward to the outside of the mat so you're gonna feel an internal rotation of your hip exhale back center and then inhale to the other side and it feels good on your hip as well as your back alternating left and right swivel so it's like internal rotation and external rotation of your hip great job my friends now we're progressing by engaging your core bend your knees to double to 90 degrees make a fist on both hands place it between your knees squeeze them tight together as you slowly separate your feet apart so you find yourself very weak as you open and back center inhale open so it's like windshield so it's like opening like a wiper on a windshield on your car so you're wiping out and in so it's like your internal rotation of your hips feels like so tight and weak you might not be able to open much and that's okay it takes time to improve that strength so it's as i said earlier it's like a frozen shoulder on your hip so if you need your hand to support place your hand on your leg to open to stretch internal rotation to help the range of motion active range of motion with gentle stretch at and range great job Whew, that was a nice stretch on your hip internal rotation now you're going to cross over your foot on the outside of your thigh area on your left so my right foot over my left thigh reach over with your hand on the outside of your knee stretch your right hand gently pull your right knee towards the left as you pull it feel the stretch in your hip and slowly turn your head away from your knee and you inhale and exhale back center let's try it again lower your knee turn your head away and feel that lovely stretch on your spine all the way to your hip because you might feel a lot of stiffness on your spine because of imbalance on your hip and gait abnormalities it creates this back pain now switch it up to the other side turn and lower your knee and turn your head away from your knee where you're bent where you are lowering so you take a deep breath and exhale and then release and let's try it one more time lower inhale and exhale great job so after doing those lovely stretches reach for your big toes with your hand and do a happy baby stretch keep pressing your knee down to the mat so it's a gentle stretch on your glutes and you might feel some stretch on your hip groin area and rock side to side gently release tension on your joint on your hip joint inhale and exhale and the next one we need to strengthen our lie on your left bend your knees like sleeping like a baby and slowly lift your knee and your foot up same level to a clamshell parallel clamshell and hold it for five seconds hold and exhale down so inhale up exhale down slow and steady 
and then reverse clamshell to help strengthen your glutes medius in a different direction of the muscle fibers so slowly lift your foot only keeping your knees together and slowly inhale up exhale down and do that 10 times as well and then just a regular clamshell by opening the top knee only keeping your feet together and then exhale down and do that 10 times as well and the last sidelining exercise lift again to parallel clamshell but this time you're going to tap your knee to knee and then toes to toes as you inhale down scoop down exhale up and foot to foot knee to knee 10 times as well and that's it i'm hoping you learn about fai or femoral acetabular impingement and if you're having this pace yourself if you can do all of the exercises that's fine slowly build it up because it takes time to improve the flexibility mobility you don't want to force it especially there's impingement going on if you want me to do a follow-along video leave a comment down below or direct message me on my social media and then i'll do the next video as a second part series on FAI. If you love this video and you find value about Pilates, yoga, and physical therapy, health, and wellness, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Like this video, share it to your friends and loved ones. I greatly appreciate each like you do on my video so it will help the YouTube algorithm and more people will find my channel to share health and wellness. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment down below or direct message me on my social media and I'll try my best to answer each one of you. Always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy. See you in my next video. Bye!